What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm going to be bringing you another locals match featuring Dorvikmon OTK on the left and then on the right we're going to be having Security Control which is a deck that I don't really feature on the channel too often and I wanted to bring this match because this is a very weird dynamic of a matchup because this is a deck where Dorvikmon can almost auto win versus Security Control if they are able to get the Dorvikmon with the Adelicate Plan and being able to unsuspend with the Majiramon but also Security Control has has great defensive cards like the Kari that can make your opponent pass turn which they just hit one out of security right there so that can definitely help out but if the Dorikmon doesn't hit the Adelicate plan there is just so much removal in security control security that it is going to be pretty tough for them to be able to make it through so we're gonna have to see if they hit that defining card security control just starting off with some tamers in the early matching the memory tamers on the other end but we do see Dorikmon getting a bit aggressive here swinging in with these Gilmons being able to get that draw and just getting some more draw and cycle with these option cards setting up for these late game Dorikmons you need a ton of cards in hand because you are gonna have to play the five cards in these sources which means that you're negging your hand essentially six cards and if you want to be able to do it multiple times you're gonna to have to neg your hand to six cards each time we're gonna swing with that gilly x right now which is gonna hit venusmon going down gain the memory from the kari which does prevent them from playing dorvik right now unless they want to pop the memory boost because even if you put the five sources underneath dorvik mon still gonna be costing you at least three memory to play out with rush and we're just gonna see the pass right there i think it's fine security control is so slow that you don't really have to worry about them getting too aggressive right now. Just going to keep setting up some more tamers. Playing that mat, which will bring back Flame Hellscythe, allowing for some more Magnamon recycling. It is nice to preload security for the security control player, because if they're going to be swinging for three checks unsuspend, swing three checks, then you want to be able to try to get to, you know, seven. Or if they're swinging four checks, then you want to be to five, depending on how many checks uh, they can get through. Just the more checks you have early, the better, because they have the less chance of OTKing you. But now we are in a pretty rough spot because of those red memory boosts, because you're going to be able to pop the memory boost, go to five, play the Adelicate Plan, which you tap the Mimi, which will put you down to three. And now they can swing, and the Kari's are only going to gain you two memory, putting the opponent to one. So they're going to be able to swing for, looks like, I believe, four checks and unsuspend. So going to be having the Adelicate Plan, not going to be able to go through, unsuspend, swing, gonna hit that kaiser leo so not even that strong of a security but the adelicate plan to shut down the option cards but now dorbikmon is just chilling with the gilmon next to it and the gilmon x in the back which is very rough because now you just have so much aggression and security control can't really keep up to it especially because they missed that salamon in the back missing that recovery and not having that extra option card can cost them right here because the dorbikmon is going to unsuspend when it swings so even after you clear this last security you're gonna have two unsuspended digimon so even if you hit removal it's not gonna be enough as we see that Dorbikmon does go down, but we are going to be able to swing in with that Gilmon X. So getting out into game two, we are going to see Dorbik start off and no rookies just going with the Fireball. And we finally see a Salamon on the other end and then the Kari, which stacking up those Kari's will definitely help. And just a pass. So Fireball turn one, turn two, we got the Gilmon into pass. So just kind of saving those cards in the hand. I don't think it matters too much. Security control is so slow that you will just be able to get through it. Other matchups, you might be bricking semi hard, but in security control, you have the ability to get through it especially as we see they swing in not 100 sure why they swung in right there probably just trying to get aggressive and trying to outpace them which i don't know if is a strategy that will work but with how bad game one went i don't blame them for at least trying to go for something else if that is what they are going for and we did see them accidentally put their mimi in the trash right there they are going to realize that here in a second there we go the mimi comes back it wasn't supposed to get trashed supposed to trash the schwartz just a little bit of a mistake right there but we did get that fixed and now we see the hero come out into just a pass so not again wanting to play out anything too early probably just saving those Dorvik sources not sure what their hand is but knowing Dorvikmon it can just be a giant culmination of random cards where it's just these Majiramons and these Jazzerichmons and things like that and that could be a little bit bricky or they could just be saving it all up for those Dorviks because there is a chance you need to go for a couple Dorviks in one game but they could just be waiting for that a delicate plan and you don't want to commit too much early when you know that if you just go for the delicate plan you will be fine your opponent's down to three security so if you are able to get the Dorvik out swing enough security to clear and then be able to unsuspend and swing you will just have game right there so we see a Hellscythe come out just to play out the Salamon, which will help you be able to get recovery here in a bit, but also just trying to stay on that aggression train. As we saw game one, there is the hybrid in the list, so you do have the potential to swing in and be able to hybrid up. So we are going to swing the first swing. It does survive, which is unfortunate because you want them to survive a little bit so that way you're able to 
um, get more swings in, but you also want them to go down so that you're able to recover. So at least one of them went down, so now you're gonna recover up to four. That does mean that the other one now is not gonna be able to recover, but it doesn't matter. We're just going for another Hell Scythe, play out another Salomon, and just keeping the aggression on the board. And this is gonna be looking like a potential Dorbic do or die here. I don't think you want to swing with the Gilmon before you go for the Dorbic Mon, because you'll swing your opponent down to three security. You'll play the Dorbic Mon, and then you will pop and they'll recover, but actually going for the trade. So not even going Going into security so I wouldn't have actually expected that but that is work either way just getting the draw there and then the on play is going to delete the Salomon Agumon going in there is a dinosaur so working out to get that DP boost because we will more than likely be always attacking the player and here comes out that ADP going to be swinging unsuspending not going to be hitting any of the checks but still will hit that Mimi unsuspend you are going to pass turn because of the Kari's gaining memory putting you to two but now you're swinging in turbo with those Salamons, and right now is where you really need a Salamon the most to be able to promote, swing, get a recovery, and then maybe play something like Chaos Degradation, Wyvern's Breath, whatever, to get rid of this Dorbic Mon, and then you would be at least potentially alive, unless they went for another Dorbic, of course, but right now, if you just use the removal then you are more than likely going to uh, just play into a hybrid because there is going to be the burning Greymon in here or another Dorbic but let's just see if they swing and hit anything here swing unsuspend going to hit the Magna Kari's will gain the memory but it doesn't matter because we can just swing with the Dorbic again and they are going to be able to take it and the power of a delicate plan does come through and is going to be taking it to over versus security control so if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe I am doing my best to try and upload every day leading up into the US US Nationals, so if you're looking for daily Digimon content, I will be bringing it to you. So I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.